Let's talk about connection priorities and limits in Speedify. This is the Speedify user interface. Now, as you can see, each connection you have is listed right there. So I'll click on the Wi-Fi and it brings up the settings for that connection. And down here is the priority. Priority is essentially the cost of the connection. So if you click on the priority, it brings up a menu that shows all the possible priorities. The first one, the default is automatic. Automatic is our new smart priority option. It'll detect the type of connection you're using and decide how to prioritize it for bonding. So connections that are usually cheaper and unlimited like Ethernet and Wi-Fi will be automatically prioritized over connections that tend to be more expensive and limited, such as cellular. Speedify will even detect if you join a Wi-Fi hotspot from another phone that's really going over cellular, it'll treat that as a cellular connection and lower its priority. The second choice is primary. Primary means that this connection is free. Speedify can use it as much as it wants. The third option is secondary. Secondary means this connection is a little bit more expensive, but Speedify can use it if it's needed to give a speed boost or keep you online. So what happens is that when you start off using the internet, Speedify will start off using the primary connections like the Wi-Fi. And if you're only doing a little bit and the Wi-Fi is fast enough, it'll just use the Wi-Fi. But if you start doing a big download or you start live streaming and you need more internet speed than that primary Wi-Fi can give you, Speedify will start giving data to the secondary connections like cellular to give you that speed boost using bonding. The fourth choice is backup. Backup means this connection is quite expensive and Speedify should only use it if it could help keep you online. So if your cellular plan is very limited in data, you might actually want to change it to backup so that we don't use too much data. And the final choice is never. Never means don't use this connection. In normal circumstances, you'll probably never want to select this. All right. So that's how connection priorities work in Speedify. In addition to priorities, Speedify also includes data caps and rate limit settings for your individual connections. You can see under the connection priorities that you have the data cap settings. You can set daily and monthly caps as well as the over limit behavior. When it hits the limit, you can either have it cut you off or limit you to a lower speed. Underneath the data cap settings, we have the rate limit setting. Here you can limit the speed of the connection, which is also useful if you have a very limited data plan. I'll be honest, the only thing I use rate limits for is when I'm traveling internationally and I'm on a very limited cellular data package that has to last me for the whole trip. I'll purposely slow down my cellular to stop me from using too much. And that's really it for priorities and limits in Speedify.